That's Polish for eat my up. <laughs> I feel like that intro didn't do justice, so. Explosion. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Mini Clean channel, bro. So, do you guys remember when I made that video with a yellow coat on? Yeah, I'm gonna do it with this one because it glows. It's reflective. It looks cool, guys. <laughs> so content on YouTube right now has been drier than your grandma's fan. Do you guys know a YouTuber called Cyrus? <laughs> you know I ain't learning this side. Shout out to Cyrus and all. But why he looking like 2013 Chief Keef? I had to do it. I'm sorry. So he's been reacting to these animated things. And it's actually, it looks interesting. So I found this one. And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna react to them. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 69. Wow. <laughs> Now we can play the intro. Well, what's up, guys? How you guys been? How are you guys doing? Um, if you guys think I can't go this whole entire video with this hot ass coat on, well, you better fucking think twice, mate, because you do you know who I? I don't know where I'm going with this. Just I can do it, okay? Look, I'll even I will zip it up as well. And I'll leave this in. So how's your grandma? I heard she was in hospital. Um, said that I couldn't send her flowers because I'm not paying for posters. <laughs> guys, I know you don't want to miss a video. Be sure to subscribe and put notifications on. Make sure you press all notifications. Follow my socials if you guys want to send me video ideas or intro ideas. Let's do it. Okay, so there's nothing else to say. I said everything in the beginning. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch this video. Hi, my name is Kyle. Have you ever been so scared of something? That you just couldn't cope? Uh, no, not really, Kyle. Um, to be honest, I've been scared to the point where I haven't wanted to be sleep, but can't cope. Don't you think you're being a bit, being a bit fucking dramatic? I ate myself. <laughs> really? That that's how we're starting. That's how we're starting this video. That is how we're starting off this animation. You ate yourself. What part of yourself did you eat? Because I see you got like the you know the blood run your mouth. What part of yourself? Did you eat? Because I uh, listen, I know no not November went, but really, really, you're taking Destroy Dick December this far, mate. This fucking far. I someone tell Kyle to chat out. And it isn't a figure of speech. As long as I remember myself, I lived in constant fights. My parents fought every day. These animations are so retarded. I don't know why. I feel like it's popular for animation channels to be a thing on YouTube. Just me? I don't know. Because I feel like there's a few. Like, I see them in my recommended, but they look like fucking retarded kids channels. So why on earth would I fucking click it? They yelled to the point that I, a 15-year-old guy, as I had done in my childhood, hid under the bed. Let's be- <laughs> Let's fucking be real. As you guys know, I'm black. So I don't have a dad. My parents used to shout all the time, have arguments and shit. Did I hide underneath the bed? My dad left when I was like eight, okay? Which means I was of age to do this. Did he just say, now correct me if I'm wrong because I've already forgot what the prick said, but did he just say he was 15 and he was hiding underneath the bed? I bit my own fingers and forearms until they bled so as not to scream from anger and powerlessness. My fingers looked like stumps. All right, so you were scared, so you fucking ate your fingers. <laughs> that's that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing in 2019 when you're scared. You eat your fucking fingers. My lips and inner sides of my cheeks were bleeding and would not heal. And when they Well, fucking stop doing it. Stop doing it. What? I don't get it. What? Just stop doing it. He's saying it's a rare disease in the title, but it's not. You're just being a fucking retail. Stop eating yourself. Too much, I chewed my tongue and my hair. I understood that it was abnormal, but could not stop eating myself. You can't imagine how many times- <laughs> It sounds like he's- Like, I know I have a dirty mind, right? Clearly. But it sounds like he's eating his own dick. <laughs> I tried to stop, but this terrible habit was always stronger than me. My life seemed like a nightmare. Why is he acting like he's getting possessed? All right, like, is this an actual condition or is this just some bullshit? Because I realized about that, you about you fucking animation channels. You like to fake shit, don't you? It's like these story channels. They always fake their stories. There's no way someone has a story every day to fucking post. And that's just facts. Oh my God, this guy's got real stories though. This guy's got- No, we fucking don't. It's called faking stories. Um, you can do it. Just literally fake a story and upload it. It's not hard. Maze without an exit. But one day, in the midst of darkness, a ray of light appeared. A female. <laughs> the first time he ever got any type of female attention. This is every virgin when a female comes up to him. A ray, a ray of light, of light an angel. angel. This ray was Miss Green, the school's new psychologist and a very nice person. She came to deal with children and their problems, one of who was me. Did you want to fuck Miss Ray? Be honest, Kyle. Did you want to fuck? We met once a week and spoke. 
meaning she spoke while I quietly sat and looked at the ground. How I wanted to say just one word. How I just wanted to fuck. Okay, I'm going to stop. The last one. That was the last one. But I couldn't. I was scared that as soon as I opened my mouth, she would start yelling, just as it had always been with my parents. All right, I'm sorry, loser. Let me just tell you this right now, okay? You're going to see someone about your problem, and you think if you speak once, you're going to get shouted at. <laughs> my parents shouted at me. Not once in my life did I think talking to like a therapist or someone in school and I was gonna say, uh, well basically, um, I'm getting shouted at home and the bitch is gonna be like SHUT YOUR FUCKING MOUTH! YOU DON'T FUCKING TALK WHEN I'M TALKING TO YOU! DO I MAKE MY- Like, that's not gonna happen, you mug. Not- not once did I think that was gonna happen. What is this guy talking about? One day, Miss Green offered to play a game. Oh, her name's Miss Green. Why did I say Miss Ray? That's such a shit name. I'm sorry. It's Miss Green? Green? What were your family thinking? Let's just name this little nigga's second name a complete color. To know one another better. She asked many questions, and I was supposed to draw the answers. At first, I liked it, but everything went off the rails when Miss Green asked, What are you scared of, Kyle? I took a large piece of paper and drew for two and a half hours. You got me fucked up. I get your job. You're supposed to help people. You're supposed to be there for them. All right. But you got a motherfucking nigga fucked up if you think I'm sitting in a room while this motherfucker is trying to draw something out for me for two hours. You better be paying me literally double the amount I'm supposed to be getting for this shit. My time slot is my time slot. You got me fucked up if you think I'm waiting for you to draw a picture for two hours. Though for me, it seemed as though not more than two minutes went by. All that- Well, not for her, not for her, not for her. Her husband was probably waiting to dick her down at home. I'm Miss Green closely watched me and wrote down remarks in her notebook. When I showed her my drawing, all she could say is, God, Kyle. In the drawing were the eerie shadows of my parents who I saw- That is the most retarded drawing I've ever seen. Like, I've- my- literally- I'm not even fucking joking. I know this is an animation, but if he actually drew like this at, like, what age? Did he say he was 15? 15 and you're drawing like this shit? I'm pretty sure 15, you're on your way to do fucking GCSEs. I'm pretty sure. You're drawing like this and you're doing art GCSE, my nigga. You failing. 100%. Every day from under my bed. I'm scared of getting the fear was the only thing I told her throughout all of our sex. I started carrying this note under my heart. I started carrying this note in my heart. Who the fuck says that? Who says- Parents fights? I didn't chew on my fingers, but I wrote in my book. It seemed like I wasn't too bad at it. So you're trying to tell me all you needed to do was write. That's all you needed to do. My fingers, cheeks, and forearms finally started healing. I felt normal. And after each session with Miss Green, it became easier. She was so nice and beautiful. Alright, so when do you fuck her? Like? One day, I understood that I was in love. I imagined that after finishing school and college, I would come and marry her. But my dreams were destroyed when I saw Miss Green kissing a guy. I was heartbroken. <laughs> but if he was 15, uh, well, yeah. Of course she's gonna be kissing other guys. Probably her fucking husband. I wanted to scream. But instead, I hid under a bridge. And let me guess. He ate his fucking skin again. Fuck it, he was like, you know what? I might as well just eat my dick at this point. I'm never going to be able to fucking use it. I cried nonstop and bit my fingers, lips, cheeks, and forearms. Pussy. If you cry over a girl, listen, I'm going to tell you this now. I don't give a fuck if you're literally 18 years old. If you're the same age as me, if you cry over a girl, you are a pussy. And that is facts. I don't give a shit. I don't care what you have to say. All right. I know there's going to be some simp ass niggas in the comment section like, well, you've never really been in. Shut the fuck up. You're a pussy. In my fist, I squeezed the only important things for me. Oh! That looks like something else, boys. That looks like something else. Miss Green's note. That morning, the police found me. I was almost unconscious and I was taken to the hospital. My parents. So you completely tried to eat your whole entire self because a fucking therapy bitch decided to kiss another nigga. Really? Is that how these motherfuckers are? Already waiting in the ward. As soon as we were alone, they started yelling. How could you run away from us? Do you even imagine what problems you created? I couldn't listen to their yelling. All right. So instead of helping the kid, why didn't you just, I don't know, do something about his fucking parents? These parents are actually this bad to the point where he's fucking eating himself. Don't think he should be living with that. I needed to hide, crawl under the hospital bed. But suddenly, I felt something soft in my fist. Miss Green's note. This piece of paper filled me with strength. Courageous. This is the cringy shit I've probably watched in a while. I'm not even joking. But my parents didn't hear the words. The most courageous person of all is me, Kyle. 
I yelled in such a way that they st Alright, there's no way you yelled that in the hospital Because I'm going to tell you this now If I was next to you in the hospital I'll be like, my nigga, shut your bitch ass up No one gives a fuck Hearing the yelling, the doctor ran into the ward And got my parents out Miss Green and the guy she had kissed came inside Teacher at one of the country's best art schools His name was Gary He told me that the best art critics and artists Were amazed by my drawing I was invited to participate in a contest Alright, no one gives a fuck um, shout out to Cyrus for giving me this video idea. I don't know how you've watched so many of these because honestly, I feel like I don't want to watch any more. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. I can finally take off this coat because it is making me so hot. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time in the next internet video. You know what to do. Three, two, one. Let's do it together. Piss off.